Hello. I'm here to do a reading today for the sign of Capricorn. I got a filter on my phone for this recording, but I'm going to show you why. Because I felt like this could be a sign for you, Capricorn. Look, when the camera's on me, see how bright it is? Then when I turn it off, look how dim it gets. Then look how bright I shine. My light. Then when I take it off, look how dim it is. Oh, my God. That is awesome. Okay. That is awesome. So some of you could be noticing that when you try to shine, you know, you try to focus your camera or your focus somewhere else that's not yourself, the light dims. Okay. Somebody around you could be noticing that when they focus outside of you, the light gets dim. When they focus on other people, it's dark. When they look at you, it's bright. That is crazy, y'all. That makes me feel really good. I'm shining, huh? Shining, 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 yeah. All of this winning, I didn't lose in my mind. That song just popped up in my head, but let's get into it, okay? I was hearing the, ch the cat jumped over the moon. I was going to get into your meditation, and I was hearing the cat jumped over the moon. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody else. Just thought I'd throw that in there because, like I said, that started. I heard that before the reading. Okay. See, I'm like, look, I turn my side. It's getting dark. When I look at the light, it's really bright. Turn away, it's dim. Oh, y'all. I'm the light. I am the light. Oh, thank you, God. He's so amazing. I'm the light. I'm in the light, not the dark. Look at that. Let's see if I move. It's still light, huh? But nope, not as bright as when I get on here. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Let's get back to it. Okay, so um, I was here. Okay, let me keep uh, my focus. When I turn, y'all, and I'm looking, I don't worry. I'll be right back. The light will be right back. Okay. <laughs> that is so fascinating. Okay, let's get through it. Okay, so yeah, for you, this is what I got for you today. Um, as far as like downloads go. Okay, so please don't go. And when I say downloads, I'm just labeling my meditations and anything um clear audience clear audiently, clear visually, anything I get like that for you guys, we're gonna list those under downloads. So when I say downloads, that's what I mean. Okay. So I was getting um a woman. It was a woman, but this could be a man as well. I just seen a woman. It was a woman in the vision. Okay. Um, and it was like, you know, the woman was on her knees and she was telling the man, please, please don't go. Please don't go. And the man was like, I'm sorry, I gotta go. I'm sorry, I gotta go. And then he walked away. Okay. And he vanished. And I, I could still see the lady though. And she, she quickly changed from being very hysterical and crying so very upset so she was just like i could see her she was like that okay um it, she went somewhere okay but wherever she went she went to get these glows you know those glows that they used to use like back in the day to see people's future it was like that she went and got her one of those and she was trying to do magic, y'all. She was trying to do magic. Um, she didn't like that outcome, okay? So she was trying to change it. But it didn't tell me, it didn't let me hear what she was saying to the globe. But whatever it is she was doing, she went flying. And she hit the wall. I was like, damn, what's she doing? Okay, so this person, whoever this is, trying to, somebody's leaving somebody, whether it be you or somebody outside of you. The person is first appears to be very hysterical that you or whoever it is is leaving. This could be energy in or around you. So it could be just you. It could be somebody around you and your energy, okay? So when this person realized that begging and pleading and crying did not work and make the person stay, they resorted to getting angry and try to do magic, okay? Um, however, with them flying against the wall, it, it didn't work. It was not successful. This person will not be successful. Okay, so I don't know if that means that you're going to be the cat that still jumped over the moon. 
as far as her glow goes. You know what I mean? But um, that's what I got for you, okay? So we're going to get this up. Um, so, but the person who ever is trying to do magic or might be trying or you might don't wear that, you know, scare you because they're not going to be successful. That's why they flying around the room because they don't know what the hell going on. That's some powerful shit. You got to be careful what you touch on, okay? So, with that being said, we're going to get right into it with some little messages. I done bullshitted for five minutes, but I ain't bullshit. I bullshitted probably a couple of them, but the rest of them, we was really on, on point, okay? So, universe, angels, spirit guides. We're here today for the sign of Capricorn. Please tell us what you would like for them to know. Because this reading will cover the week of um, June the 29th to July the 5th. Okay? Please show them what you would like to see for the sign of Capricorn. Whether it be advice, encouragement, a scolding, otherwise, whatever you see. Let us know some messages. God put us in check. Give us a little pat on the back if you're doing it right. Alright, here we go. Messages for Capricorn. The 29th to the 5th. 29th to the 5th. Messages for Capricorn. To the 29th to the 5th. I'm going to do it. I said I do a second shuffle. If it won't fall out, we keep it at 1. It's time for a deep dive. And to set healthy boundaries. Okay. Swan spirit. I don't know. I'm, um, let's do it intuitively first because I haven't got this card much, so I'm gonna read the meaning that read read the meaning out of the book. But um, on this card, this one looks like that it could be underwater. Okay. underwater but look at this one he doesn't look happy about it okay so for some of you you're going to be taking a deep dive into your emotions okay and figuring out why do i feel like this what happened let me go basically y'all gonna be going within and checking with yourself in the emotions department what don't work what works what do i need to clear what do i need to adjust what can i do okay so let's see what the book says for number 60 six and a zero is a six okay um this deep diving could be for purposes of balance okay balance of the emotions balance of life just balance mainly emotions because that's what deep dive is when you're taking a deep dive in ocean it's about emotion okay with their grateful with their grateful long necks swans are able to reach into the depths when swan spirit arrives you are called to take a deep dive Beyond what is easily available on the surface, you may think you know what is best for you now, but it takes the plunge into the depths of your awareness, awareness uh, for there is knowledge you are not aware of and great treasures to discover. Deeper understandings awaits you, and a perspective that comes from a greater self-knowledge is what you need right now to better understand a situation or relationship. As you come to know yourself more intimately, so too will you come out come to better know know of others so swine spirit acts that you go beyond the surface of what is happening between you and others and resist the temptation to judge and superficial appearances know that there know there is a much deeper potential for loving connections forgiveness and mutual understanding choose to dive deep in your way in your why asking the deepest questions of yourself why are you led by the grace of swan Yeah, so basically going with it and checking with yourself, saying, hey, your intuition and your emotions are not the number one rulers over this, okay? Intuition and emotion go hand in hand. Emotions is your heart on the inside, okay? That's what you really, really feel. Your intuition is your voice, your voice, what you hear, what you see, all that stuff going on inside of you, the stuff that people probably like to call crazy, some of them. Anyway, them people, okay? But... That's neither here nor there. You're, this is a time to bring balance into your life, okay? And rather than looking at the surface, it's time to look deep, a lot deeper than you're at, you've been looking, okay? Because the answer that you seek is there, okay? Now, instead of being resistant or um, 
rebellious against outcomes and situations that you're going through this week, um, take a deep dive. Go within. Withdraw from the world. Meditate. You know what I mean? Check in with your star player, which is you. Okay, so there's going to be some... Um, Some step, some self awareness steps being made this week for you, Capricorn, is what I'm feeling. Okay, so we're gonna get some messages out here. Universe, God, universe. Let me call them in order because God goes from the top. God, universe, angels, spirit guides. Give us some messages for the sign of Capricorn from the July, I mean June the 29th to July the 5th. What do you have for us from June the 29th to July the 5th? For the sign of Capricorn, what messages do we have from June the 29th to July the 5th? For Capricorn, June 29th to July the 5th. What messages do we have for Capricorn from June? 29th to July the 5th. We just took out the corner from June the 29th to July the 5th. Okay. First one is like the Ace of Swords. Triumph and success. Okay. Be some truths coming out this week. Some clarity coming in. Here. Around um, patience and planning. Okay, with this Ace of Swords here, somebody could be needing to speak their truth here with the Throat Chakra card. Then we have Disruption. Or because somebody has spoken their truth, um, somebody is not happy about it and not liking it. Okay, we have three more cards for Capricorn from June the 29th to July the 5th. One more card. Capricorn from June 29th to July 5th. One more card for Capricorn. June 29th to July 5th. June 29th to July 5th. Heartbreak and loss wants to come out. Heartache and loss. Let's see if it makes it out. Up, trapped in fear did. Nope, it didn't. Two came out and only one and one. But we have passion ignited here. Okay, that's the ace of wands to me. Okay, and I, if you've been watching me or you know anything about me and the way I read, um, passion ignited. When people's passion ignites, to me, the way I read um, from my intuition, this is when you've decided, hey, I'm lining up with my soul's purpose. I'm following my divinely guided journey. Okay, so passion has been ignited here for you or somebody to follow their journey here. Then we have prosperity begins. Prosperity begins once truth is spoken. Patience and planning is happening and disruption comes through. That's basically a tower here where the whole thing got dismembered. Okay, so then we have Emotional withdrawal. Okay. Some of you guys be emotionally withdrawing this week, or there could be somebody emotionally withdrawing from you. And we got the Hierophant or the Authority card here. This could be a marriage that you're dealing with here. And then we have Trapped in Fear. Okay. This disruption is like after the disruption happens, it's prosperity begins, emotional withdrawal, and being trapped in fear. Which we got two eights out here as well. Some of you could be working on self mastery. Okay. That's why you're emotionally withdrawn here. 
with the high authority card here. It's, I mean, you could be uh, focusing on a higher level of knowledge spiritually. And because of that, people are wanting to disrupt you or cause disruptions for you in your in or around your life. Okay. Am I still shining? Shining, 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 shining. Yeah. Okay. Why is triumphant success here for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th? Triumphant success. So why is that here for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th? Why'd you show us triumphant success from the 29th to the 5th? The hangman. The clarity you need coming in here. The enlightenment. Okay. The perspective or the information you need to come out here with a new perspective here. Because it looks like here you've been in, in a mental and prose prison here. And not prison because that's eight. But mentally, you've been mentally imposed here. Act, not acting. I'm going to say, I say acting because this lady's blindfolded. She can take it off. Acting like you don't know which way to go. And you don't see which way to go. But you intuitively know. Okay. You just don't know if you you trust that inner voice or that inner knowing. So you are feeling like, okay, I'm stuck at a crossroads here. Do I walk away? Or do I circle back around? Because there's some deceptiveness going on here. And that's what your intuition could be letting you know here. And that's why this Ace of Swords is here. Some truth, some clarity, something that's coming here. To let this hanging man know. Okay. See, he got the bright idea lit up. His head is like um, a light bulb. And he has a bright idea here. The light bulb is a lit. So somebody is being enlightened, informed, or gaining knowledge about something. What's patience and planning? Why is patience and planning here for Capricorn? From the 29th to the 5th. Patience and planning, why is it here for Capricorn? Because somebody feels like they have a higher ground to stand up and fight and be victorious in the situation. Of some patience and some planning here. What's throat chakra? They've been patient, being patient and planning because they feel like they have the higher ground to stand up and fight here. Throw chakra. Why is that here? Why is throw chakra here? The Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. Why is throat chakra here? The Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. chakra a decision about having options somebody's deciding to retreat looks like somebody is this this could be a marriage or relationship or something of that nature and i'll say that because also in the meditation somebody was begging somebody not to go okay so um somebody's made a decision here that they want options Okay, or somebody made a decision uh, to go with another option here or to treat you like an option because um, it's not balanced here and it's heartbreaking. Or this person that is treating you like they are decided to choose you as an option or treat you like an option or choose another option over you broke your heart because uh, you given it to bitch. Is that what this is? Okay. What is authority? Why is authority here for Capricorn? We're going to find out further and more clarifications on the second round. We'll do two rounds of clarifications for the week at least. Why is authority here? I just show us authority here for Capricorn. Uh-oh. Capricorn ain't got to be the worst. Look. Authority's here saying, hey, it's time to find, follow your divinely guided path here. A brand new beginning. Brand new tangible beginning. With the, Especially with that Empress there. Some beginning. After somebody sails away from Karma to Karma Waters here. And that's why they're leaving. Because they're going to get that beginning in Karma Waters. They're going to follow their destiny. And no amount of begging or pleading or nothing you do um, can keep this person from doing it. Now, we got the devil here clarifying the authority card. Now, this could be binding, okay? Somebody could be dealing with uh, a marriage here. Somebody that they're binded to by a contract. That could be a marriage, Okay. This person or you, somebody could be toxic. Somebody could have addictions. Okay. Codependency. You could be codependent or the person you're dealing with could be codependent. Somebody could be codependent on the situation. And that's why they don't want to let it go. Okay. Why is disruption here? 
So here come the tower to shake it up. It's clarified by the tower. The tower is clarified by the fucking tower, y'all. Taking charge to walk towards that destiny. Why is the tower clarifying the tower? Why is the tower clarifying disruption? No, let me look. I'm so curious. I ain't supposed to be doing that. Why is prosperity begins? We do that in the next round with the second card. Okay. Prosperity begins once you withdraw and go within. In order to gain that light, there it is. More light shining. We had that on the hanging man card. Okay. The hermit and the hangman, they about the same. Okay. The hermit is on, on a journey, though. He's going on his his spiritual journey, his in his journey within that leads him to his path, following his path with his light shown. The hangman goes on journeys to find out new perspectives, new way to think about it, new way to see it before they just cut it out. Okay. Emotional withdrawal. Why is that here for Capricorn? Why is emotional withdrawal here for Capricorn? Why'd you show us emotional withdrawal from the 29th to the 5th for Capricorn? I don't see this being the best week for you, Cappy. Mm-hmm. Emotionally withdrawn. There's the hierophant. Somebody's emotionally withdrawn from this marriage because they hurt. Okay? And, that, and the person's begging, please don't go, please don't go. But it's like, nope, that was the last straw. I'm out. Leaving somebody trapped in fear here. A mental imprisonment. What's this trapped in fear here for Capricorn? Why is trapped in fear here for Capricorn? Why did you show us trapped in fear? Why is trapped in fear here? Oh, the sun came out too. We got the fool. You trapped in fear about this leap of faith. Or the person around you is trapped in this fool. Trapped in fear about the leap of faith. But keeping them trapped in fear is not a happy spot. But this leap of faith is where the sun is. Okay? It's upright. And when you're taking this leap of faith, in fear where you're scared to take a leap of faith, this is what the sun looks like, not happy. So even though you're entrapped by fear, you're still scared. Or the person around you, they're trapped by fear, scared to take this leap of faith, and it's causing them to be unhappy. Okay? We got this king of pentacles on the bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could be dealing, well, this could be you. Or you could be dealing with another earth sign here. Okay, somebody's feeling like they may miss the opportunity or they've been bored with the opportunity because they keep feeling like the wounded warrior in this situation here. Okay, and somebody's tired. They're bored with all the heartbreak. They're bored with you hurting them or, them or you're bored with them hurting you. Now, I'm reading it to you, but the energy could be, the roles could be reversed. If it's not you doing this to a person, it's a person doing it to you. Okay, but I feel like for some of Capricorns, some of this is y'all, okay? We've been on this for a while, okay? About y'all need to walk away. So I don't know how we went from the way you exit to you begging, but no judgment here. I've been, <laughs> in the last two years, I've been one of them chicks to be out there because I knew I was wrong. Grab it on the arm and the leg. He's so gold. So been there, done that, but now I just don't put myself in situations that I'm gonna have to smooth over like that. You know what I mean? I just be right. So if this is you, I bet you you'll never do this kind of stuff again. And if it's another person, you'll never deal with a person like this again. So why do we have the hanged man clarifying triumphant success? Okay. We got the three of swords on the bottom with the queen of pentacles. That's you. Okay. Then we got the Six of Cups. In the past, somebody could have hurt you, okay? Left you to go single or feel single. Mm. For another emotion. Could have been. And then after you got single, we got this Ace of Cups here. We ain't going to get that far down deep because I don't know what that means. A new opportunity presenting itself. But um, some truth for clarity here is coming in about some stable, some, some, some built foundation, okay? What's this four of wands? The king of swords. And the moon. So some, some secrets are coming out here. Because the high priestess card is here. She's the, she's the seeker of key. She's the keeper of the unknown secrets. The moon has the unknown secrets, but she knows, okay? And here's the king of swords. He knows too. He's truth. Okay, he's truth and he will cut some bullshit out if it ain't true. Okay? In a harsh manner. But it's going to be fair. Okay? And we got the Queen of Wands under here. 
knowing what she want. Okay. So, um, this week, some clarity is going to be coming in here for somebody. Some clarity here. Some clarity, some information. Something is dropped on your lap this week. Possibly through your intuition. Okay. With the hanging men and the high priestess, but some secrets is going to be coming out this week. With this king of swords here, somebody could be trying to, um, no, the king of swords don't hide secrets. He tell truth. Yeah, that's why we got this truth here. We got the king of swords here telling the truth about some, somebody here telling us some secrets. About some foundation here. It's some secrets in the foundation and the king of swords and the, the hanging man is here to bring them to the surface. Okay. Along with your intuition. Or this person's intuition. And that's why this whoever this is that's leaving. That's why. Because secrets is coming to the surface this week. Oh, yep. Look at that. Done fell out. Yep. Something's ending. Why is patience and I mean, why is six of wands here clarifying patience and planning? The six of wands. Why? Kitty, get off my roll paper towels. Why is six of wands clarifying patience? Stop it. This cat acts like a dog, y'all. I love her. Six of Wands. Why is that clarifying patience and plenty? Yeah, I'm tapping at you because you're trying to eat the paper towels. Kitty, stop it. Okay, patience and plenty. I'm about to let her interrupt my read, girl. Eat the damn paper towels. They a dollar I bought some more. God is good. I'm about to focus on what I'm doing here. Look what we got on the bottom. That tower come through and shake it up. Shake it up because this is that part. Capricorn, your reading been the same for the last three weeks. This is that part where I told you, if you do not watch how you exit, come in here, tell this person the truth and exit the situation. If you do not, for two weeks, it's been telling you, if you don't watch how you exit the situation, you can end up left out in the cold. Now, the secrets are coming to the surface because you didn't just tell them yourself, huh? That's why I said, I think this is you, Cappy. It ain't got to be. But we've been on this for the last three weeks, okay? This week, last week, and the week before that, we've been telling you that you've been wanting to leave a situation or or some some truth that you need to bring to the situation and then leave it because whatever this truth is probably wasn't going to keep the situation together after the fact. So you were supposed to have been taking, you know, telling this truth because remember I told you, be careful because the way you take can leave you left out in the cold. And I think that you done took that left out in the cold. You done took it. Now we got two page five poop. Feeling like you got the higher ground to stand up and fight for what? The potential to stalk? A potential new way of being? Potential is good and everything, but ain't guarantee shit. So your patience and planning is feel like you got the higher ground to feel like you got the higher ground to stand up and fight because you got potential. Or cause you see potential and you see a new idea, a new way of going about things, okay? A new route to take. So you still pace, you still thinking. How can I do how can I still how can I still make this work to turn out in my favor? Notice these is pages. These don't do shit but ideal. Pages don't take action. Pages if, if especially as a queen position or a king position, being presented as a page, mm mm. That means somebody's lacking something and they need to go back and try it again. Yeah. They need to go back and try to line up with their destiny anyway. And now I gotta and sell this shit away to Kama Waters. She should have been dead. Folks, calm, sail away to calm waters to your destiny. And that's what this tower is here for. Because it's time to go, whether you want to or not. It's time. It's a missed opportunity. Okay, it's over. Move on. Don't make it no worse. We got two towers out here and one on the bottom. Uh, that's a, some pure, some serious destruction, okay? Some shit is about to go boom this week. So just... Oh, God, watch over the Capricorns and the people they dealing with this week. Cause towers hurt, man. They shock the fuck out of you most of the way. Most times, they not in good ways. Okay? So, why is um the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups here clarifying Throat Chakra? Two of Wands, Seven of Cups. Why is that clarifying the Throat Chakra? Oh. I found it. Mm-hmm. King of Pentacles. That could be you or that earth sign you're dealing with. Somebody possibly been with for a long time. Somebody you give anxiety or give you anxiety. Okay. 
So, somebody give you anxiety because they breaking that cup into somebody else. Probably ain't you. They don't want to be. They didn't discover your ass and now they see a new way of being. Or you done discovered their asses. But somebody here, somebody's speaking a choice, okay? A decision that they made to go with options or go with another options here because of this new perspective that they gained when the tri triumphant success came in. The hangman is the one who brought him the information. Now he's taking the action that the hangman told him to take or she, okay? This person is, um, could be this king of pentacles. Just one second. Okay, so this King of Pentacles, like I was saying, could be you, or but this two Earth energy. That's so like maybe you're dealing with an Earth sign here, but you basically um, put this person in a and give them anxiety here. Okay, or they give you anxiety about taking their offer of happiness into somebody else, and guess where that left you? Guess where it left you, Capricorn? Can you guess? Right where I told you it would. In the code. Why is the, th the devil clarifying authority here? Mm, that's too much. Too much, too much, too much. You did too much. And it's too much water under the bridge. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I was hearing. That's what they had said. <laughs> like I got that from somebody else. Why is this devil clarifying authority? Why is the devil clarifying authority? I was hearing too much water is under the bridge. Past communications coming in here about this 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 marriage here or whatever this codependency is or whatever this kind this binding contract is. Past communication is coming in here about some new beginning and a judgment call being made. Look, I like it. Let's move to the big stuff, the tower. Why is the tower clarifying the tower here? Why is the tower clarifying the tower? Somebody done missed their opportunity. Somebody's bored. Or it's unrequited love. Either you done missed the opportunity or it's unrequited love. You want to try again, but they don't. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But three major arcana at the bat at the bottom. Oh, four. The sun card. Four major arcana at the bottom of the deck. Somebody goes within to gain the knowledge they need. They become enlightened. They put an end to the situation to get to their happiness. And I just don't feel like that person is you because I've been trying to tell you to end something for two weeks. And I just don't feel like that you got it. And this is about, you're about to get it this week, though. By force, not by choice. It's just four of cups clarifying the tower. Four of cups. Why is that clarifying the tower? Why is the four of cups? Okay, there's that emotional offer there. They got somebody shaking up. Somebody going to get their happiness here. Somebody came in and offer. Oh, boy. Somebody's taking an offering to somebody that makes them happy. Somebody that they want to marry. Somebody that they got enlightened about during this hermit mode. Okay? Somebody that they feel is a wish to them after putting their death to a situation. They headed to a happy place. That's what this person is doing. And it's probably making you in anxiety. You know, they probably getting, you probably get anxiety around it. Or this could be the person. For some of y'all, this ain't got to be you. All y'all didn't decide to not do it. But for some of y'all, a lot of y'all, it's you. So, you feel like you done missed an opportunity because you see this person taking their love in and they commitment and everything. They try to give you somewhere else. And here you are still trying to stand up and have a higher ground of fight. Don't tell me this person with the globe was you. Still feeling like you got a higher ground to stand up and fight after the tower done come through to bring in the balance here to the situation. I'm going to have to merge my damn video because it just told me my maximum was... I don't know why I'm going to delete all this shit off before I start. Somebody feel like they have a, a evil... Uh, uh, they feeling victorious to stand up and fight for the situation. It's probably not even you. It's probably the person. Whoever's leaving is feeling victorious to stand up and fight for some equal give and take. Going to get a cup somewhere where they can get a balance of give and take here. And that could be you because we got prosperity begins here. But it looked like it's beginning for the hermit. That could be the Virgo. Or it don't got to be. It could be you. Why is the hermit here clarifying prosperity begins? 
doing the work. You got to do the work. When you do the work, that's what I could, I just heard, doing the work. That's the, your prosperity begins when you do the work. When you go within and do what you're supposed to do. Make better decisions and choices here with the lover's card. But we definitely got a soulmate, twin, a soulmate. Well, I don't got to be a twin flame, but I don't see no other twin flame. Ain't no other divine me players came out. So this could just be soulmate, no twin flame, okay? So, but this could be a soulmate, but we get many of those, okay? This is a king of pentacles. It could be a Virgo, okay? Because we got Hermit here with the king of pentacles. That's an earth sign. So, um, this earth sign, it could be you as well, okay? This earth sign, prosperity begins for this earth sign when they go within, do the work, make better decisions in life to do the work, Okay? That's when the prosperity begins. And as you see, this is the king of pentacles. Everybody getting more prosperous than him. As far as in pentacles go. Okay. Then we got the queen of cups on the bottom. And somebody walking away. Somebody taking their love. Taking control here. And pulling it from this devil energy. So I feel like I just feel this energy. The energy I feel is you. Somebody, this is you and you losing something. You losing something because you try to be. Pull a fast one. Could be a marriage that you're losing here with this Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant clarifying emotional loss? The Hierophant, why is that clarifying emotional loss? Yep. Because you deceptive. Somebody lying, cheating, trying to steal. And somebody intuition done told them. And you thinking you celebrating and getting a new beginning in love, but a motherfucker really taking charge to walk the fuck away here. Be you or somebody else. Why is the Seven of Swords clarifying the Hierophant? Mm -mm, you can't be deceptive to no Hierophant. The Hierophant is the spiritual being, the highest. Okay. Yeah. Conflict. Intuition again on the bottom. But we got the Eight of Pentacles coming out here. Somebody's being emotionally withdrawn here. Emotionally withdrawn um, due to some deceit here in a marriage. And somebody put work in, possibly somewhere else. That could have been you, could have been them. What is this eight? Let's see where they're putting the work. It says eight of pentacles. Where work getting put in at? What deceptive is it? What, what's, what's deceptive about this eight of pentacles? What's this eight of pentacles? What's this eight of pentacles? What's deceptive about this eight of pentacles? Why is this eight of pentacles here? Clarifying seven of swords. Damn. It just popped up, hit me in the face. I guess you know what's up. Oh, because that person don't want to fight no more. Intuition still popping up. The high priest and the high priestess. You know who the high priest is, don't you? These is married people here. Okay. So, the high refiner already here, emotionally withdrawn, and the high priest keep popping up at the bottom. Trying to see, yeah, because you know. That he know. He know. He know that you deceptive. And somebody's putting work in to come out of conflicts. To come out of fighting. To come out of arguing. They feeling disappointed though. But they following that intuition. And they and it's not making them happy. But not yet. It's, I mean they're feeling disappointment around this. Maybe a little depression. And somebody else is feeling jealous after that. Because they walking towards happiness and walking away. Five of Swords in reverse. Why is this Five of Swords in reverse? Clarifying what this person is working on deceptively. Queen of Wands here. There's a divinely. There's a divine feminine. Okay. This person's working to get. Okay. So. Emotional withdrawal from a, a, a higher level of commitment. A marriage or something like that. Why? Because deception happened. Okay, after that, boom, somebody start working really hard to come out of conflict and take action towards what they want, what they're divine guided, what they're, de what they're guided to do, okay? But the justice card here, they, they don't think it's fair, okay? Justice, they call it justice. They, justice is coming in here to make it fair and balanced, and that's what this move is. It's, being, it's a fair, balanced move, okay? To bring this person out of wounded, in wounded warrior energy to take this leap of faith, and I'm assuming that's where your tower comes in. What's this Queen of Wands at? Queen of Wands. Yep. 
that's what she doing so whatever this did i'm sorry Kathy. i'm blaming you because in the last three weeks your region has been saying it's been you okay babe now and you know what else this reading is saying that it's you there you are toxic and codependent no i'm just playing that's what the devil card is but there you are capricorn and that's what the problem was up here that's where all the information is coming in around this fucking marriage okay so this person is taking action to get away from this devil energy the emperor the emperor is coming out here he takes a leadership role to walk away from the devil and this person is walking away from you because they've been wounded too much here they're going to take a leap of faith here and i say that because look what's here there's that leap of faith now uh, this person's leap of faith don't make you happy that's what that is huh and they got you trapped in fear what's this fool card clarifying trapped in fear yep there it is triumph and success was the first card of the read and here go that clarity because they they got this clarity and the knowledge they need they can want to take this leap of faith okay they're retreating from the situation retreating from working together okay and that makes somebody very unhappy and look what we got on the top they're going to get the happiness they're going to manifest they got they feel like they got all the tools they need to do what Go be that divine man to get that divine feminine. That's the masculine right there. Divine masculine. Going to offer her that cup. Okay? Because he ain't nobody's option. Or she. Mm -hmm. Somebody's choosing self-love here. And I love it. What's the sun in reverse here? Somebody's unhappy about this person choosing them. Choosing this leap of faith. What's the sun card in reverse? Yeah, we got this ten of wands here. They put, they're not happy. What's the sun in reverse? But somebody decided to finally put the burdens down. Was you the burden, Capricorn? Or was somebody else your burden? Seems like you. Somebody put the burden down and they moving forward to go get their wish fulfilled. <laughs> Whether we like it or not, that's what life is all about. Ascending. And we don't want nobody holding us back and keeping us in devilistic energies, y'all, anyways. Why is the sun card in reverse here? The sun card. Why is that in the reverse? Uh, yeah. Because the person's putting down the burdens. Ugh. This is not making somebody happy. The fact that they putting down this other person putting down the burdens is making the person that they putting down the burdens with mad. Because these part, this person is putting down the burdens so they can go bring in the balance or have a balance situation with this nine of cups, okay? Because you possibly done hurt them for the last time or they you. Take it how it fits, okay? So, that's what we got for the spreads. Okay. Let's get you guys some advice. Because you can use some advice this week. Hell, you can use advice every week. But you ain't going to follow it. Ain't going to matter, huh? It ain't going to matter if you ain't going to follow it. We done with these cards here. Because in the, excuse me, in the advice column, y'all just stressing. This reading a little stressful. It's a little happy, though. It's happy because I love when people go align with their purposes. Okay? Especially Virgos. Because my divine part is a Virgo. But he on this shit. If he on this shit right here, ain't gonna be no divine part. You heard me. Choose you. And if this ain't you, this you hurting people, they need to choose them. And get away from your ass if this is how you're going to be. Yeah. And if this is you, you know you ain't right. The hell? We're supposed to be out here loving one another. You're getting married to hurt people and shit. That ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Hurt people hurt people. It happens. But I don't know if this is you or somebody else. But somebody hurting people out here. And I don't like it. Okay. Here we go. Advice for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. What advice do we have for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th? Damn. This reading is 45 minutes plus. Advice for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. Advice for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. What do we got? Give us a 
couple cards for advice for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. It's advice for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. Advice for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. Advice for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. Base chakra. Advice for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. Advice for Capricorn from the 29th to the 5th. Alright, that's all we can do. We got the fulfillment of wishes on the bottom. Could be you or could be somebody else. And we got destiny under that and memories of love. Somebody's definitely hit it. Now look. We've, we got emotional loss and emotional withdrawal this week. Okay? The waiting game. Suffering in silence. Trapped in fear and awareness. Okay? Somebody been playing this waiting game this week. They're going to find out that it's been a waiting game. Okay? And, and they're going to become aware. Okay? When that happens, the opposite person is going to take an emotional loss. Okay? There will be some suffering in silence here. And trapped in fear. That's advice. I don't know what, what kind of advice is that. Y'all want them to do. Just be patient. Be patient this week. Keep what you know. Always from now on, go with them chakras and your knowing. From now on, you're going to be following that intuition. I bet you that. Whoever this is. But let's go see what base chakra says for you. Before we exit. Okay? Because I want to know myself. But I think that's emotion. Yeah. This is two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. Okay? So, that's advice for you this week. Be in tune with your desires and your emotions and your sexuality. Okay? I don't know. Be comfortable in who, are you, who you are. Okay? Stand up and stand in your truth. If you like the same sex, like the same sex probably. Yeah. I'm nobody's judge. Okay? I'm not here to judge. I'm here to help us get to where we're going. To help us get some messages out. Okay. Yeah, you because know, I got some shit that could be judged too. Okay, but I ain't nobody's judge. Okay. So that's not what we're here for. I'm here to spread love, Cappy. And get on your ass when you need it. Because I'm definitely going to do that. I'm sending it straight, coming straight from God and sending the messages. I'm just the messenger, okay? But I will get on your ass with the cards look like, all right? So I'm going to keep it funky. One thing you can depend on me to be here every week with a message and to be here with a truthful message. Not sugar code, not beat around the bush. I'm jumping straight in that motherfucker and I'm telling you, here it is. This is what's up with you. This is what's going on with you, okay? But... With that being said, guys, this is what I got for you this week. And if this resonated with anybody, please do give me a thumbs up. Now, I have my information down in the description box as far as personals and all that. But I did add a link because I do have um, some necklaces. I like, I make, I make stuff, okay? I'm, my bracelets are not finished yet, but I'm, I'm working on them, okay? And there is a bracelet missing here. All two. So you see this kind of stuff, those little chakra beads like this. I'm just basically, these are not done. And when I do, be, I'll put them up there and everything. But my necklaces are done. Okay. Some of them. All right. Now they just all tangled up. Okay. My cat knocked it down. But you can't, I can't get that. My head big as hell. I don't even know why I tried that. But so I got my necklaces on there. They're like nine dollars. In person, I only like to sell them for six, but since I have to pay for shipping, you know, I have to put a little extra dollars on there because I'm not going to pay for my for shipping out of my six dollars. The only six dollars I only want six dollars for the necklace, so why would I pay for shipping out of my six dollars? But I make this stuff, okay. It's my creative arts, okay? But there's going to be a link in the description box if you're interested in checking out some the merch that I got available at this time. I also sue things. Sue, sue, so whatever. So, um, 
I just finished with this outfit now. You know, I'm finishing it up and it's about to get posted. Okay, so when I do stuff like when I suit, like when I get my projects and I suit clothes and everything, those go on the sites as well. So like, I'm looking. We 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 veering off now. But this is a skirt that I'm sewing. Okay, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be a cute two piece thing when I'm done with it. But that's what I want to do for my life. Okay. Uh, my calling is this, okay? Helping others get to their calling. So I do that when I have time outside of the Lord's work, okay? Um, but I do, I do. I make all these, okay, from hand. And I put them on Macari. And I'm going to put that link in the description in case any of you are interested in checking out my merch, okay? And supporting me. Okay? You can also donate to my channel if you want to support me in that way. Um, but I'm definitely going to... I have some um, some new stuff coming in this week. Um, where I will be... I'll be making like um, a whole group of these. Like, if see, put these on together. See how cute they look? But they each stone represents stuff, okay? So I purposely choose my stones. Like this seven... This is a chakra bracelet. I got two... Well, I got one bracelet on. That's a chakra. But you see, this one I got with my kid, my sledge kid. I didn't make this one, but I did make all of these, okay? And that's why the strings are still hanging out because I'm not completely done with them. I made these really quick, okay? But that's neither here nor there. My merch is going to be there, okay? If you want to check it out, I'm going to have the link in the description box if you want to check out the Macari and the things, the items that I have posted up there, okay? On the Macari site, the, they are not on necklaces, but all of them come with a necklace already attached, okay? I just hadn't had the necklaces come in yet. Okay, so that's what I got for you. Namaste, Capricorn. Keep it positive, okay? No matter what it looks like, stay on the positive end of things.